Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And she was going to correct me right then. No, I wasn't. Every time I say good afternoon. I know. That was me. Says, that was me holding back. <laughs> that is the extent of this woman's restraint. That's it. And she's smiling because she's trying to restrain her restraint. So, hey, everybody. I don't care what time of day it is. Hi. I just hope you're having a blessed day. How yes. about that? Yes, exactly. What you making, honey? I'm making some English muffin bread today, honey. Thanks, Snookums. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's going to be a saucy one, I oh, think. Oh, I think so. I think so. <laughs> English muffin bread. I love English muffins. Yes, you do love English muffins. And I don't like making English muffins. I love English muffins. And the ones you buy in the store are not that good. <sighs> they really aren't. So, I mean, they're okay if you toast them right and you put enough butter on them, but... We I love the nooks and crannies. I, I just love the nooks and crannies. <laughs> I forget what brand it was that, that did that. They Thomas's. Have, see, there you go. It's Thomas's English muffin. I can't remember. They're the only English muffin I like. Any of the other brands, forget it. Exactly. So English exactly. muffin bread. Yeah. I can't wait. So this makes it a lot easier. And this is actually, it's a yeast bread, but it's super fast. It is. It's super fast. Um, so um, this is how this is going to go. Um, you're going you're gonna to show them the recipe? We're going to show, you go ahead and show them the recipe. I'll show them the recipe. On your market set, go. Here's the recipe. Oops. Done. That's all you get. That's all you get. I'll turn the little <laughs> red marker off. I don't know if they see that. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So this recipe is, again, it's super simple. Um, it has a few ingredients in it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of milk to this pot here. Saucepan. And a half a cup of water. And then I'm going to heat this to really warm. It's going to be about 120 degrees. Um, you don't want it boiling. Um, but you want it warm. You want it really, you want it to where it's almost too hot to mm -hmm. touch. Mm -hmm. So in, while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and add some ingredients to our bowl. Um, I'm going to start with three cups of flour. Depending on your, the moisture in your area, you'll need to either add less or more. Um, so between five and six cups. Today, it's pretty dry here. Um, because we have the heat running. So I added, um, I only added five cups and it probably could have gone with a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, a mind with heart. Hello. Hi. Uh, says Harry and David has the best English muffins. I've never had theirs. I've never had those. We, we very rarely get Harry and David stuff just because it's really expensive. Well, they don't have those around here. Usually Harry and David's yeah. are in malls. And we don't have a mall within three and a half hours of us. We do, however, have a knockoff that we came up with mm -hmm. of a Harry and David's recipe that, holy mackerel, it's slap your mama good. Oh, for the uh, pepper, Jelly. for the pepper relish. Is it yeah, a relish? It's just a, I, I don't know what they, I forget what we call it. Pepper and onion relish, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's like peppers and onions. Tomatoes. And, and, and it's you I put it with um, a block of cream cheese it's and put really, that on crackers. And really it's like, good. oh my gracious. Yeah, it, it is. You're right. It is slap your mama good. Okay, Shelly's asking all purpose or bread flour? It doesn't matter. Um, I have an all purpose flour that it, that it works. The, I can't remember. It's a really good flour. Um, I don't buy the garbage stuff, I buy a really good flour. Montana that's, wheat. No, that's, well, that's, I do buy those wheat berries. But this is Winona, which is um, another brand. But they make a really good all-purpose flour that works phenomenal with all of the breads I make. So, um, so a, mind, a mind with heart says they're sending us some for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Thank um, you. So to the three cups of flour, I'm going to add two tablespoons of yeast. Yes, I said two it tablespoons. Is a lot. It is a lot of yeast. But... You That's what gets you that. to go fast. Well, not that, not just that, but it makes that the crumb of the English muffin bread light and 
airy and fluffy. So Filled with nooks and crannies. Filled with nooks and crannies, exactly. That's right. So we need one tablespoon of sugar, and we need two teaspoons of salt. So I'm going to use my tablespoon, but not fill it up all the way. Because your tablespoon is three teaspoons. And then we need a just a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, which I thought was strange, but it works. It does work. And then I'm just going to mix these up. And hopefully... You like that doodad, that I love mixer. this. It's a Dutch whisk. I absolutely love this for Turn mixing so bread. see the... Uh, there you go. I really love this here. I come to the closer one. Yeah, there you go. It's really cool. The only thing I don't like about it is the dough gets caught in this little loopy here. When it's time to clean it. When it's time to clean it. And it's if you don't clean it right away, it's really challenging to get it out. You have to use a brush. All right. That's warm enough. All righty then. See, it doesn't take long. By the time you start with this, this is warm. Now I will mix as I pour this. And this will be soupy at first, but that's okay because you're going to add more flour to it. Nebo Allen is asking, what cookbook is this one in? This one is in Big Family Essentials Cookbook on page 15. All right. So. Wow, Danny Thrive, this is my favorite part of Friday. That is very kind. Aw, thanks, Danny. We like hanging out, too. Hello to one by day, Heidi, American country boy. Bulletproof pastor, mine with heart. Cafeo. Sounds like a breakfast cereal, you know? Cafeos. I'll we'll have some cafeos. That's, That's funny. You know? All what right. What would it be like? Cinnamony? Maybe. Cafeos. Maybe. Um, okay, so this is this is very um, soupy. You you can't do anything with this really. Um, except make pancakes. <laughs> so I'm gonna add one cup of flour at a time. Um, to see how much flour I will actually need. But uh, I believe I will only need five cups because I made a batch earlier. To and show it you. is a stiff dough, it is right? A, it is a stiff dough, right. In the recipe, it says it's a batter, but it is, it is, I actually did knead it. K-N-E-A-D. We got it, we got Not it. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Ha, ha, ha. Boom shakalaka. All right. Where did you buy the Dutch whisk? I did not. Um, it was sent to us by a, another uh, YouTuber. Um, she sent us this as a, a thank you for um, showing her how to make bread. She, That's her, right. Her family absolutely loved um, the bread that I showed her how to make online. And she so said she thank sent, you. This as a, sent this as a thank That's you. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Hey, there's plan with Jen. Hello there. You know, while we're waiting, guys, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button? That would be yeah. great. We'd appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you like it. Yeah. I would imagine you probably can get one of these Dutch whisks on Amazon. Or um, King Arthur Flour has some really great uh, baking tools. I really like their website. Dean Baker says take a screwdriver and pry it apart a bit. That should fix the problem. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. That probably would work. Jen's Weight Loss Den says, hey, I'm on lunch uh, watching you make bread. Love it. But if you're, if you're in a weight loss den, this might not be the best recipe. A lot of probably carbs. Probably not. A lot of carbs. A lot of carbs, yeah. All right. I'm going to roll this up because I need to need this just a <laughs> bit. Elizabeth Day says... Laugh out loud, I've gained 10 pounds making your your bread and cinnamon rolls. I'm sorry. Oh wait. Never mind. I did I didn't make you eat them. Or <laughs> make you make them. I just showed you how yummy they were. <laughs> Nebo says it's on Amazon. Brad, put it in your Amazon store. Well, I'll get right on that, Nebo. Right. <laughs> try uh try touch of Dutch. Okay. Touch of Dutch. Oh, is know. that a website? Must be. Yeah. You can find that whisk on Layman's. Yeah, oh, we I'm sure. Marty. Yeah, we like Layman's a lot, but they're expensive. They're really expensive. They're pricey. Yeah. Use my fingers to get all the dough off of there. Yeah. All right. Did you mention that you already have one in the oven? No, I didn't. 
That way, with the miracle of modern production, you don't have to wait the full... Did I only add four cups of flour, or did I add the fifth cup? I was reading comments. You're on your own, baby. Hey, folks, did I add the fifth... I don't think I added <laughs> oh, another yeah, cup. Yeah, they'll know. They'll well, know. Good call. I'm going to add a little bit, because it's not ready yet. Jens says you can make just about anything keto. <laughs> you can. You can make this with a gluten-free flour. Um, I um, Thrive Life has a, a, a gluten-free flour that I have, I have not used yet, but I, we have some, um, just in case we have friends that come over. Yeah. Um, and so that I can still make bread, but it'll be gluten-free. You know what's easier is... Instead of using flour, you just actually use ground beef. That way it's keto. <laughs> You're so funny. It's keto friendly. Keto friendly. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Or steak. That works. Yeah, that does too. All right. Katia. So I... She's from France. France, I oh, believe. Nice. I love English muffins. Carolyn says, I'm making your Amish dinner rolls for our seasoned Saints Church group lunch. Everyone loves them and requests them every time I am bringing food to a meal. That's nice. That's, that's awesome. That's really nice. <laughs> okay, that reminds me at our church in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. I would make dinner rolls for the Wednesday night dinners there. And um, <laughs> folks would call to find out if I was making dinner rolls. They or would not. they would they would not make reservations if she mm -hmm. wasn't making dinner rolls. Right. It was pretty funny. Yeah. And well, and one of the pastors would sneak in and just come get like four of them and leave right. before the meal even started. Right. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to knead this a bit just so that it's a nice smooth dough. I don't like I don't like sticky doughs, I'll be honest. Huh. What? Uh, the One Whom Jesus Loves. That's a great title. That is great. Uh, do you know if Pura Vida Moringa is no longer available? I got that notification from Amazon. I will have to find out about that. I Yeah, I don't know. I know the... I don't know. The oil and the powder were out for a while, but... Um, I do not know. I don't know about the capsules. The powder, I think, was the one they were struggling with. But we can yeah. we'll find out. I thought they were done with that. I, I mean, by that I mean, I thought they were past that shortage, because it was it had something to do with there was too much yeast in it. Yeah, or something they lost an entire gigantic a huge batch. batch. Yeah, so they test every batch before they they put it on the line for yeah. for sale. Uh, Heidi hoax. Hey, hey ho, hey ho, Heidi ho, <laughs> hoax. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Nebo says, have you ever made churros? I love churros, but no. I have not. The closest thing is when we have like taco night, I'll take uh, a flat tortilla and put a little butter and then cinnamon and sugar on it and put that in the griddle. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let that sit for a second. Now, I have some pans <laughs> sprayed with oil, <coughs> and I'm going to take some uh, fine cornmeal, cornmeal, um, you can use whatever cornmeal you have. You don't have to buy a specific kind. This is the Goya kind because we make um, what we call creamy, and it's cornmeal and milk and some sugar and cinnamon, and that's we have that once in a while. But I love the Goya fine cornmeal. So I'm just going to sprinkle this. Not super heavy, but I want a nice layer on, on the sides and, and on the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Because that's you want that those... Uh, um, you want that cornmeal. The crust. On the crust, yes. Yeah. So, um, American Country Boy says, I would be like the, the pastor and get in there and get out quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, plan with Jen. Oh, this is a tip. This is really cool. Uh, the Thrive Life applesauce. I grind it into a powder with a coffee grinder. That's a really good suggestion, uh -huh. number one. Then use the powder in pancakes and oatmeal and breads and waffles. That's a fantastic That'll idea. That'll keep it nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Add a little flavor, a little sugar. Yummy. That's a great idea. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half. So this makes two loaves. And I'm going to roll this into a log. 
All kids and this love. is not this is not um, going to rise for initially, and then you bake it. This is going to rise only once, not twice. Usually, when you make bread, you it, you it let down, it rise, yeah. you knock it down, and then you let it rise again. And um, that's not what we're doing with this. Elizabeth Day, do you have a video on making mm -hmm. tortillas? And the answer is no. no. Um, we have a tortilla maker. It's right. We do have a tortilla there. maker. It's right over we have a video on making there. flatbread or non bread, but um, tortillas. You know, that's hard the, to do. The truth is, they're, they're not. It's just really time Very consuming. Very time consuming. When they're and so they're inexpensive. <laughs> so when they're so inexpensive that it's not worth doing. I mean, you can go to the Dollar Tree yeah. and you can buy a package of ten for a dollar twenty-five. It's a lot of work. That's a lot of work for nothing. I mean, for just tortillas for that much. I'll tell you what, though, when they get, I mean, prices are going through the roof. Oh, yeah. We're going to be probably second guessing that, that oh, of uh, course. statement there. Right. And then, and then we'll make them. I know how to make them. I just don't like making them because they take a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is done for now. We're going to let this rise in a warm area for about 45 minutes to an hour. Until it reaches almost the top of the pan, I will cover this with plastic, and then you bake it at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And that's it. And I'll show you. I'll show you. i show you. Oh, and this is good timing. We've got seven, seven and minutes. a half minutes left. All right, this is what it looks like before it oh, is here, baked. I'll go, to the main, I'll go to the main cam. Okay. That one. That, okay. The main one. There before you go. Before it's baked, I put the cornmeal on top. So it, it rises, it looks like it doesn't quite double, but it's... Oh, no, it has doubled. Yeah? It definitely has doubled. Be careful with these pans because you don't want to knock them. It'll, it'll release all of the gases from the bread. You want those gases in there to make all the nooks and crannies. That's what she says about me. Don't rough <laughs> me up because I'll lose all my gases. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> don't rough me up, bro. Okay. Yeah, definitely prayers for your daughter, Jaton. Most certainly. Let's see. I love the cornmeal crust. Yeah. Something different. You know. Uh, the one whom Jesus loves says, enjoy the recipe videos. Keep them coming. Oh, good. Yeah. So let's see. Do you guys have any questions? Hey, there's Plant Lady. Hi, Plant Lady. She's Plant Lady 32. Ah, oh, gotcha. Because Plant Lady 31 was probably taken. Probably taken, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slip this in the oven. Watch your leg. Perfect Day mm -hmm. says Do you ever make sourdough bread? By the way, your bread making videos have been a game changer for me. And you both are so much fun. That's nice. You always make me smile. Perfect day. Um, so the sourdough. Sourdough, I, I'm not good at it. You know who is though? <laughs> Tyler Woods. Tyler Woods. Bulletproof Bull pastor. Bulletproof pastor. He's very good at it. He has sent me a starter, and I have it in the refrigerator. I'm just it. It's not. I just something. I just can't get it right. Um, I I did it for a short time. I just I don't know what it is. I yeast think is it's, so much easier. Honestly, I think it's one of those things where <laughs> yeah. you just you've kind of defeated yourself. Maybe. In all honesty. Maybe. I mean, this is this is not like public talk, so between husband and wife talk, but I think you just I don't know. I, I got I got yeast bread down. You don't want to leave that. And it, I tried to do sourdough and it worked out well. Um but it honestly, it takes just a long time, and I just don't have that kind of time. If I'm going to make bread, I want it to rise in a cup in an hour or two, and I want to be done with it. Yeah. I don't. I can't babysit bread. <laughs> honestly, I babysit children. No, I'm don't. I don't babysit children. You're naughty bread. Yeah. Go go sit in time out. You know, it's and yeah, you can make it at night and bake it in the morning, but I, I don't know. You'd have to keep working at it for for a long time to get in that routine. And I'm not in that routine. Yarn so. prepper, where do you find this fine Goya cornmeal? That's funny that you would mention it because there was a, a case of it sitting right where the camera mm -hmm. 
is it was over there just a little bit ago. We we just got it from Amazon and had of it have it delivered. Right. I I order. Uh, I think it was. Is it twelve? I think it's a twenty four pound box. Like that. It's a twenty four pound box, and it's about a dollar a pound. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it was. I think it was between twenty and twenty four dollars for the whole box, um, and that will last us years. Um, yeah. But I'd rather have it. I'll put it in jars and vacuum seal it, and then I don't have to worry about it ever again uh, for a very long time. Um, but yeah, we buy it on Amazon um, and just have it shipped here because we don't have any ethnic. Actually, I take that back. There is one ethnic store down in Colby. Stetsonville. Stetsonville, Colby. Yeah. Down there. Um, Abbotsford but, is where the one I know. Yeah. One of yeah, the right I think it is Ab yeah. Abbotsford. But we've never been there. No. So. Bob Peterson says, I made corn tortillas once. I got 12 tortillas out of a five-pound bag of masa. Holy you smokes. You might be doing something a little bit different, bro. Maybe. How many, wait, how many tortillas did he get? Only 12. Oh, That goodness. seems like you would get a lot. Those are really thick. Yeah, I, I would imagine you would get more, but yeah, I don't know. I've never made... I don't we've, like, we've cool. tried I don't to like make masa once. flour. You know, and I... I um, I got a bag of corn that was actually, um, what was it? It's, it was raw corn. You have to you have to do a process to the to raw corn, like dried corn, like dried deer, corn. deer corn. Yeah, yeah. Um, called nixtamalization, and that's a fancy Dan word, nixtamalization. Mm -hmm. And basically, what it is is you're using an acid um, to take off. Some of the hard outer parts of the corn. I think it's, it's like a you know those husks. It's, it's a skin that's on the outside yeah, of the yeah. corn. But nixtamalization. That's yeah. real. I'm not making that up. No, that's it's, the name it's of the a word. real word. Yeah. Nebo Allen, how big were those tortillas? You know, two footers. That's yeah. <laughs> two footers. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I, I got some of that corn thinking. You know, if things got really rough, you could make it that way, but you'd have to nixtamalize it. And I tried to do it once. And it, it did. It turned out okay. It turned out okay, but yeah. And you have to use lye. It's basically lye. You yeah, and it's it's not a. And then nah. you rinse it. Oof. What kind of grinder do you use? Says Gene Lee. Oh well, I have I have um, a Nutramil. Yes. I have a Nutramill gr uh, grinder. And we've got a hand And I too. have the Wonder Mill hand grinder. Um, so Which you can actually hook up to a bike. You can hook it up to a bike. Mm -hmm. So for everyday stuff, I use the Nutramill. Um, the Wonder Mill is... Preparedness. In, prepar preparedness in case we don't have um, right. electricity. Uh, so. Delaney B's here. Hey, I tried sourdough once, so yeah. Yeast for the win. <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, most likely an issue with the chefs, an issue uh, with the chef. Okay. It, it is, a, it is a, a patience thing. I, I, I have learned to make bread and learned to make it quickly. We're, we're down to 40 seconds. Yeah. And I, I don't like waiting 12 hours to bake a loaf of bread because, you know, honestly, if it's not a certain timing, then I will forget about it and it's like bubbling over and. And I've done that before. It's like uh, that plant in um, that wants to eat everybody. What's that? Uh, shoot, Steve Martin was in that movie. It was a musical. The gigantic plant. Feed I, me. I See I more? was just showing the kids part of that trailer. Yeah, we and we I've saw totally it together. Little Shop of Horrors. That's it. The Little Shop of Horrors. So that's what happens. It's like if you let your sourdough go too much. Yeah. Feed yeah. me, Seymour. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Gonna check it? No, You're just it's going done. for it. No, it's done. I can tell. You can tell? I can tell. You talk to it. I she's did. the bread whisperer. Right. Mm. Right. No, it's not done. Yes, it is. <laughs> the other one's not. This one is. All right, look at that. Ooh, bread. That looks so pretty. And the bread's oh, not bad either. Ah, ha, ha. Look at that. Nice, the cornmeal on there. All right. Oh, now it's all over my mitt. All right, let's see here. 
Fred, 1956, pickling lime. Yeah, that's what we, uh, you can use wood ash too for nixtamalization. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but basically it's the same thing. Right. All right, this is going to be warm. The acidity is going to be very, very high. Or is it low? It, it takes those skins off is what it does. It'll be high. So Jean Lee says, thump it. Oh, yeah, you, to thump, yeah. To know if bread is done, you thump the bottom. If it sounds hollow, then it's then See it's the ready. See the coming up there? Yeah. Ow, Here, let's really... do the close mic. See, close mic. I didn't want to wait. So you're not going to see all the nooks and crannies. Ooh. But it's going to be delicious regardless. What happened to the uh, nooks and crannies? I cut them. Why would you do that? Because it's hot. You're supposed to let the bread cool. <laughs> Why? Why? Why should you let the bread cool? Oh, oh. <laughs> You're goofy. Why? Ooh, that's a lot of butter. That's too much butter. No, 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 no. That's, that's good. I softened the butter. What the heck? Let's see. Uh, Hi, Shelly, Anna. it's a memory thing for me when it comes to stuff taking a long time. Thank goodness for Google Calendar and reminders. Yeah, All no right. kidding. Here you go. There's Nana. Na mm. Nana knew that there was food ready. Come here, Nana. I'll give you a little taste. Jeez. Come around here so they can see you. Over here. Come here. Wrong way. Come here, Nana. Come here. Ouch. Come here, Nana. Oh, there's Nana. Oh, now uh -oh. you did it. Now Brutus is coming, too. Come here, Brutus. He doesn't even have to. It's just He's like docking. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, go on. Like, but wait, you have food. But wait, there's more. That is delicious and different. Is it? Different good, different bad. <laughs> no, um, it's just very yeasty. I would prefer a little more salt. Okay. Um, very crummy. Yeah. Like, like, let me see if I can, like that. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a different kind of bread, which I like. Mm -hmm. And you don't want all your breads to be the same. Right. That's kind of why you have different kinds well, of breads. And you're going to toast this. I mean, yeah. You're not going to toast it now because it's hot. I'll toast it now. But when you can't now, it's got butter on it. I'll toast it. Then I can put more butter on it. Okay, when you create a fire, we'll call the, the fire department. <laughs> you goofball. Mm. The dogs. Nana is still sitting there. And so is Brutus. I didn't see him. He's drooling. He's got this big, nice string of slime. Better call her, group. Call her Grace. Or call him Grace. Go on. Like, do they have, does she have food? Oh, jelly. American country boy. That's an excellent suggestion. Got it. I'm not toasting. I'm not waiting now. Go on, Nana. Let's see. Oh, this is homemade. Homemade strawberry jam. Strawberry? Mm-hmm. It's our family's favorite. They love it. We go through one of these a month. Yeah, I think. that's why we're planting more strawberries mm -hmm. this year. I don't know how many we should have, though. Do you know? I I know that Thank um, you, baby. we had planted 35 plants okay. last year, and they were runners from a friend of ours. Um, and so, who knows? What do you think? I like it. With the jam? Well, I it's love strawberries strawberry and sugar, so that's hard not to like. And that's what I hate about making jam is so much sugar. I guess you didn't. You don't have to do that. You could just cook, you just continue mm. to cook it until all the water comes out of it. Just take them downstairs, hon. Uh oh, the chickens are eye in the garden. It's closed. It's okay. There's nothing in there anyway except the strawberry. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. I think it would be better toasted though. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cream cheese and strawberry jam. Oh, man, you mm -hmm. guys keep making it worse and worse. <laughs> but that sounds so good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, there's no. I went to wipe my fingers on the towel and it wasn't there. I'm wiping them on my pants. I know. I know. So, I mean, you saw that's, it's super easy and fast. You have this done in a little over an hour. Yummy. Yeah. 
Any puppy news? We don't know yet. We, we don't, don't know, know yet. It's too early to tell. Kathy O, you're killing me. I'm now, now I'm eating a muffin. <laughs> Cream cheese Sorry, and guys. strawberry jam. That sounds really good. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's easy. It's mm -hmm. fast. Yeah, it's super fast. Let's see. I'm going to put one in the toaster. Going to do it? Yep. See what it's like. You guys got to hang tight now. We were going to say goodbye, but. Yeah. I got to wait. Takes a few minutes. Our toaster Toast, is right. slow. Our toaster is very slow. Yeah. But I like our toaster. I hate using the microwave in general. I don't like using it. But then I don't it. like our microwave at all. I yeah, I don't like having I don't like having a microwave. But um I use our microwave to soften butter and we reheat leftovers in it. So it's not that's about it. That's that's all we use it for. We'll never cook anything in it. No. But um, it's just to reheat leftovers. And I know it's probably just as easy to heat it up in the oven or on the stove, but honestly, yeah, it's just faster. Ugh. Well, and our nutritionist says that it does something to the food. I forget what they mm -hmm. what, what she yeah. said, but yeah, they don't even have a microwave. No, yeah, she won't have one in the <laughs> house at all. No. Let's see. A mind with heart, cottage cheese and jam. I love cottage cheese. I'll have to try that. Yeah. My mom's favorite. Yum. Uh, let's see. Sunshine Bobbles and Bling. That's a fun name. Mm -hmm. Gene Lee, I will um, give up anything but bread. Huh? It's really hard to not eat bread. Cream cheese and any jam. You know what? Cream cheese and marmalade. Can't I can't go with that. She doesn't dig the I don't, marmalade. I don't dig I marmalade it. at all. Mm -mm. I don't like it if, it if it has that burnt flavor. Yeah. Yeah, we did marmalade. We we canned some marmalade a few years back. Well, Let's probably deep eight fry years back. <laughs> air fryer is great for reheating. You're right, an air fryer. And we do reheat in the air fryer for certain things. Chicken, um, pizza is great in the air fryer. And French fries actually come French back to fries, life. French fries are definitely... Uh, a win in the air fryer. Don't even own a nuker. No, I know. It's I know they're bad for you. I really do, but the house came with one and we swapped it out because it was really 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 The other one, old. the other one, the door didn't close right. I was paranoid. I, I was paranoid about that too, but butter and honey. Yum. I love butter and honey. Oh my gosh. We love bees. Hi dogs. I'm not sure we're going to do bees this year though. Um because it's really hard to keep bees alive around here. And yep, I don't know if Dan Schneider's still here. He's a, a beekeeper. He, he that's probably local. stopped watching because it was bread. He's trying to <laughs> he's trying to stay away from bread. Yeah. <laughs> I make jewelry. Sunshine baubles and bling. Oh cool. cool. Soft cream cheese and smoked salmon. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. You've never had it. Yeah. They used to do that. I know. The yeah. smoking part of it, I just kind of, I don't know. Fried egg on the muffin. That's good, too. Mm-hmm. Ethyritol. Or it's a sweetener. Yeah. Ethyritol. It's a sweetener. We use a different one that's um, mm -hmm. zero calories and is stevia-based. That has either ethyritol or xylitol as well. This is what I like. Yeah. I like that for coffee. This has ethyritol in it. It's ethyritol and stevia in this mix. Uh, most of the stevia mixes, those big poofy bags, have um, what it was sodium, that? not sodium benzenate. What is it? I can't remember what it is, but Dirt. there's no, there's something else in there that make that's actually I looked it up. It's not good for you. Monk fruit is good. Hey yeah, there's Cheryl, uh, Shelly, Brad, have you tried horizontal uh, hive boxes? Um, no, there was one that I was going to try. I watched this video of a Russian guy who was using plastic bottles, mm -hmm. like PET plastic bottles, and you don't have to mess with them, the bees at all. You can harvest easily. I might try that. The reason why, the reason why I don't want to do them here in Wisconsin is just because it seems like 80% of the hives, you kill them mm -hmm. every year. And even people, we know people that have... Um, air conditioned, not air conditioned, uh, climate controlled right. rooms. And that's what they, they, they keep it at a certain temperature all mm -hmm. winter long. Mm -hmm. And even they have a hard time keeping them alive. Yeah. 
All right. Oh, yeah. That's way better. Look at that. Yummy. Look at that. You're going to go... Let's look at that. Butter only or, or nice? butter and... Uh, probably just butter. Okay. Look at that. We got our nooks and crannies, folks. Looks like our toaster's heating only on one side properly. Holy mackerel. Mm-hmm. We've had it for a while, so we may have to... Get a new one. Yeah, limp through this one till it actually dies. There you go. Let's give it a now shot. Now try. Here we go. You're going to like that better. Yeah, I bet that's better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. The crunch is much more like a English muffin. Mm-hmm. Tastes really good. Really, really good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So <clears throat> you saw how easy, easy it is, guys. Yeah, it's super easy. Um, minimal ingredients. Not a lot. Not a lot of. Not a lot of kneading. Um, and it's just. It's super easy. Yeah. So. So that's it. That's it. We're gonna go back to work now. Mm-hmm. I gotta go finish school with kids. Thanks for the bread, baby. You're welcome, honey. All right. You guys have an awesome and blessed day. Bye. See ya. Bye.